Little Red Riding Hood, William Wegman. 40 pages, published about 93 uh, by import. It's a hardback, it looks like a classic kid storybook, which it is, but it's a twist because as you can see, and I'm gonna try and pronounce this, there's the Vimorana, and that is the dog. And William Wegman is renowned for using this dog in a lot of his, his work. I think they're his dogs. And at first, when I thought, sort of found this book, I sort of laughed at it and I discarded it and I put it away and I, I didn't see it. And then I was in this bookshop and then I went back to it. And then when I started opening up, it was just the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And then when I dug into a little bit of research about William and his relationship with these dogs and his the craft of putting this together, I actually really appreciated it. And I thought, just for a bit of fun, it would be nice to just show you on here a sort of another way of shooting pictures and telling a story and working out who this would appeal to, kids and adults and artists. And it's just, it's an interesting concept. If you go on to, I'll put a link to William Wegman's website. And if you go on it, you will, um, you will see there's something called Real to Real, which is real as in the real of a, an old Super 8 technique, which is the sort of old film look, and real as in R-E-A-L. And it's an opening part of his website, which is him and one of these Vimaranas. And it's just the interaction with him and the dog is, and the way he gets it to sit, sort of look at him, it's really intriguing and engrossing. And then I started really understanding what, this is not just about shooting a picture of a dog, this is training a dog and just having a relationship and a, a connection with the dog to get it to do that. It's a skill, it's an art, you know? It, so he's an artist, an American artist, born I think around 1943. He's best known for creating his dogs, which I think are, are, are his own dogs and his, his costumes and, and scenarios he puts together. Anyway, let's look through this rather quickly. Make up what you want of it. It's a bit of fun. I want to show, it's, we all know Red Riding Hood from our childhood, I presume, most of us do. So, once upon a time, there's a little girl who lived with her mother, blah, blah, blah. So here's the first set of, it's fantastic. I'm just gonna drop this down a little bit. You may notice I just changed the brightness slightly on the camera. I didn't want to go back and re-record it. So there's a slight brightness change. Anyway, bring this basket to your grandmother scene. So you got the dog sitting on a chair. It's just forever critically good of it in whatever way. It's a fantastic setup. It's just brilliant. Don't worry. And then there's a little red riding hood off and then mum or whatever, granny, mum looking from the window. And there she is off on the trek. And here she is wandering through the, the forest. Wildflowers bloomed all around. Feels like the same shot switched. I think it is. It's got the same things, but it does serve a purpose. Yeah, beautiful. How'd you get the dog to do that for so long? It's very clever and with a flash and very, very patient and very good understanding between him and the dog. I would pick my grandmother a beautiful bouquet. And then, <laughs> so good, look at that. That's just great reference, isn't it? For just a, another take on a, on a narrative using animals. It's just surreal, it's fun. I don't even want to go into the story, buy it. Do you know what, you can buy this book on Amazon for a penny. I've seen it advertised for a penny. It's also 60 pound as well on other places, but it is all, it is available. I think it's a really interesting, concept and it's good to show some stuff which are different even if you don't understand them but I think I do understand it I think I'm getting to understand it hello little red riding hood it's beautifully shot as well it's obviously got a really good relationship with these dogs and this is it is I little red riding hood process of transformation amused him immediately. 
Oh, brilliant. He rushed over to the window. Um, something was different. Come closer. Brilliant. Come closer still. <laughs> All the better to eat you with, my dear. And the storyline's going on and on and on. He felt dizzy. So I, I don't even read it. Has he eaten her or not? I'm trying to work it out. That's a bit out of focus. Or maybe that's to show off the dizziness. Be interesting to know what he shot it on. I presume it's medium format. And this is the woodsman here, and I think he saved them. He saves Little Red Riding Hood from being eaten, and the big bad wolf gets dizzy and threw up at the sight of the armed woodsman. Yeah, so he sees the woodsman with the gun and he gets all dizzy and gets shocked and he saves Little Red Riding Hood. And now Little Red Riding Hood has dinner and with the granny and um, the huntsman and he saved the day. What a brave huntsman. And they all hugged and danced around the room in glee. I think it's good fun for a kid, isn't it? I think it's good fun for kids. It gives them a little edge to it, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of knowing something's a bit different when they look at it. And the following week, Little Red Riding Hood returned to her grandmother's house to bring her a basket of food. She went straight there. As her mother told her, she did not dawdle astray. Again, Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother were visited by the wolf, but this time they did not let him in. The wolf eventually gave up and went somewhere else. Oh, poor wolf. It's got a lock. Superb. Superb, superb. I think it's great tartan, isn't it? What do you say? I think positives. I think it's great. I think, why not? It's another way of delivering a story. It's an art. William makes it look so simple with the dogs. It's a great way of illustrating your photography and your practice and your, your craft. And he makes it look so easy. So well done. A bit of fun just showing you. Why not? Sign up to the YouTube channel. Please, the uh, camera snaps on Twitter, camera underscore books on Facebook. And thank you very much and well done, William.